Hi guys, today I'm going to be going through one of the Trimcraft planners. This planner is from their first edition range. It's an undated planner so you can start using it whenever you want and it is obviously spiral bound. They very kindly sent me this to basically have a play around with and use. They didn't ask me to do a video on it but when I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see inside the poll was a very clear yes so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go through from start to finish and show you the inside. Unfortunately, this did get a bit damaged in the post. It was in a jiffy envelope, so there shouldn't have been any issues with it. But when it arrived, there was like a massive rip and dent in the envelope. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then sure enough, when I opened it up, there is, you can see there's like a dip in the coils. I've actually tried to squish these back up to try and make the pages move better. So this isn't as bad as it was when I got it. And on the back as well, I don't know if you can see that there's also a massive crease so clearly I I reckon something's rolled over it or like some sort of machinery because these coils aren't they're not easy to smush they don't just dip like that yeah something heavy has definitely rolled over it but I did manage to somewhat revive it so the planner has a gold theme so there's a lot of gold foiling it's got the gold spiral and it has a gold elastic to close it this little thing on the front can come off but it's just got a bit of info on the planner this is what the planner looks like on the front I love this design so much I'm not massively fond of the fact that it says my planner on the front I just personally prefer planners to be kind of one pattern without much wording or if it is wording then a quote or something something more generic but yeah the cover and this pattern in the background is so beautiful the size of the planner is a5 it's the same size as an a5 notebook minus the coil so for example here's an a5 notebook so yeah the size of the actual planner and the pages is a5 size but it isn't too bulky which I like. Inside we have this really really pretty purple pattern. There is two sheets of stickers which are planner stickers. So they have events like Valentine's Day, Pancake Day, Mother's Day, Easter, Father's Day, Halloween. It has little stickers for birthdays, date night, family night, wedding, travel, party, vets. There's just a ton of planner stickers on there and obviously they're all in the same colour scheme to fit with the planner. And then again on this one you have a load of event type stickers. On this first page it says this book belongs to if found please contact i love that on the back of these pages is like it's not blank it's it's got a pattern on it there's then a bit for all your details so it's got well basically anything and everything you could think of you've got medical stuff doctors car stuff some bits about you so hair color shoe size ring size some work information and then obviously like date of birth email name there's then a couple of pages of dates to remember so there's car insurance account number and renewal date and then the space to put the date it renews on and it's the same with all these so you've got road tax renewal electric company account number mobile phone account number and renewal date, mortgage, council tax, home insurance, business insurance, personal loan, travel insurance, life insurance, pet insurance, gym membership, cable TV. Yeah, there's just a ton of things on there that you can keep track of, of when they renew, so you know when money's going in and out. There's then some birthday pages, so you have all of the months and then you have like space to write on each date if you have a birthday on that date. There's then a yearly overview so you have obviously space for any sort of events that you need to remember. On the January tab you have goals, birthdays, to do. This month I am enjoying, thinking, reading, watching, listening to, visiting, wearing, eating, drinking, looking forward to. Which is a really nice kind of I suppose journaling section at the start of each month. We then go straight into the monthly overview. So like I said, it's an undated planner, so you have space to put the dates in. I don't know if you can see this, but Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday have wider boxes than Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I feel like monthly pages in general are tricky to figure out. I feel like it'd be so much easier if there was six days in the week rather than seven. <laughs> But hey, but yeah, that's just something to take note of if you are thinking of getting this planner. We then go into the weekly pages. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and a to-do strip. And then down here you have the month with a space to put, I'm assuming, the week number. On all of the pages, there's also light pink patterns as well. I don't know if that's picking up on my camera. So as you can see, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are kind of 
blocked off a bit so you don't have the full width of the page obviously they are a bit taller because there's three on this page rather than four so again something to take note of but I do like that there is a to-do list on the weekly spread we then have another really nice quote and we go on to February again it's the same layout throughout so you have the monthly spread then you have the weekly pages the only things that change are the quotes on the back of the last page of each month and also the color scheme on the front of each month I really like the color scheme in this planner it's a mixture of like pastels but there's also gray and like a darker blue I feel like after you've used this planner you could probably cut these out and use them in journals or just sticking them on your wall would look good there's then June then we've got July August September October November and December. After December we have an addresses section and in here the pages have basically two columns of lines so you can put the name of someone on one side and then their address on the other. And then last of all we have a note section which just has some very pretty note paper in and then that's the back page. So that's a little flip through of the first edition planner by Trimcraft. It is really really pretty. There's definitely more in here than just your monthly and weekly plans. It has launched some places if I can find a link when I post this video I'll have it below but if not it is coming to Hobbycraft in July I'd love to know what you guys think of it below as always if you have any questions then let me know as well and I will see you in my next video